This is your reverse fly with a single leg lift. So I use a resistance band for this exercise, uh, ideally because it doesn't matter whatever angle my body is at, they will always be targeting the reverse fly motion that I want here. If you use dumbbells and you can't quite tilt over that far, then um, if you're out here at the dumbbells, you end up working your upper traps more. Whereas if you you have to get all the way to level, which it works if you're level, you take two dumbbells and you pull apart from there. And this way you're getting those mid and low traps work there. Not that this would be terrible if you were at this angle, but just get your upper traps more. Whereas if you wanna really make sure you're targeting your mid and low traps at whatever angle you're flexible enough to get to, that's where a resistance band uh, can be a good tool for this. So with the resistance band, what we're gonna do, I'll get close so you can see, I'm basically holding, uh, grabbing just inside of this resistance band, uh, just inside of the little black tabs, palms down. I'm then gonna wrap the band around my each hand one time, still remaining palms down now. So now I'm just basically remaining it now I'm palms down, uh, but with the band wrapped around each hand once. And that should be just enough to be able to start the resistance as soon as my arms start to pull out from shoulder width there. And then keeping my shoulder form in place, shoulders are back and down. As always, shoulders are back and down. I'm gonna step back with one foot. I'm gonna get my, my upper torso tilted down as far as I'm flexible to get to. Basically like a single leg RDL type motion here. And then I wanna add the leg lift in. So I'm gonna put the toe down, arms are straight, shoulders are back and down, heads back, and my abs are braced in to keep my spine nice and held tight or keep my spine secure, spine neutral, core secure. And then we're gonna pull these band, my arms apart, pulling the band up, stretching the band outward as I pick that leg up into the air. And then as the band, I bring my arms together, the foot comes down, taps the ground. I'm not actually putting weight on that foot. I'm single leg balancing on my standing leg here. And I pump that leg up in the air with every time I pull my arms apart here. If you're using a resistance band, uh, you really ideally want to get that band to come right to your chest there. If you're coming down to your stomach there, just changing the direction of pull. Uh, if you want to really try to get a nice strong um, reverse fly into those mid and low traps, you have to make sure your shoulders are engaged back and down, actively secure them there, and then pull that band to your chest. And then you're gonna do a full set with one leg, and then you'll come up, and then you're gonna switch size to the other leg, and you're gonna pump your other leg. So we count these, however many, say you have to do 10 reps, that's 10 leg lifts, which means in the end, you're gonna end up doing 20 reverse flies with your arms there. So plan accordingly. However many reps you can do with your upper body, you need to make sure you count the fact of that in that uh, you're doing half on one leg, half on the other leg. So these are your reverse flies with a single leg lift.